this year seems to have gone by so quickly. Next year's schedule is already set. And that's how a year goes by. Time just seems to fly by. And I think we've made great progress this year as well. We have launched to many countries overseas. And I think this year is finally going to be the year that we surpass the one billion dollar mark for our sales. Yeah. Um, the total sales overseas is also predicted to be about 280 million dollars. We have prepared for about three years now in China. Our factories uh, have been built in various parts of China, including the one in Yantai, which is a toothbrush factory. Uh, we'll also start building the Hemohim factory there soon. We have fulfilled all of the necessary preconditions. And we are trying to meet all of the conditions set by the Chinese government. Uh, everything is going very smoothly. The main office uh, in China will be placed in Yantai, a city located in the Shandong Peninsula. Yantai is an industrial area that allows Chinese and Korean companies to work together. There is a lot of land there for these companies, and the city of Yantai is making arrangements to have Atomy come into their city. We have also bought out two of the factories there. And we will continue to have the necessary factories ready. One of the factories will be producing Hemohim, and another site will be used for Atomy's vision center. We will build a big auditorium that can hold up to 5,000 people. From a network marketing perspective, we predict that the Chinese market uh, will be about five to ten times bigger than the one in Korea. That is what we are predicting. Uh, after our launch in China, we are looking to launch in India, and the branch manager there is already ready. Also, the branch manager for Turkey has also been selected. Turkey will serve as a bridgehead for Atomy to enter into Europe. <laughs> We will be able to launch to Europe through Russia. And there are many Turkish people currently living in Europe. And the country of Turkey, by itself, has a population of over 100 million. What then is the reason why Atomy was able to expand all over the world like this? Well. We are a distribution company. Um, and there are principles and values that a distribution company must adhere to. This shows that with everything that you do, you must do it with principles and values. How do you do well in the distribution business? You just have to sell good products at an affordable price. Principles and values are always so simple. I'm sure many of you are here today to want to get into the Atomy business. Uh, I also think that many of you are here today to check and see if this is a worthy business to enter. You must then have a standard to measure that, right? And this standard is the price and the quality of the products. This should be your standard. When you are trying to evaluate a network marketing company, you first need to define what a network marketing company is. First, you must know that it is a distribution company. What then is a distribution company? It's a business where if you sell good products at a cheap price, you will do well. This should be your goal in this business. This is the fundamental truth. Then various companies can be evaluated using this standard. And you will be able to make your decision on whether to join or not. Look at the world around you right now. Do people say this world is full of hope? Or do people say the world is doomed to failure? Many people say that the future isn't looking too bright. When we were young, people used to talk about hope quite a lot, about dreams. 
When you asked me and my friends what we wanted to become, we all had very big dreams. You could easily find a student who wanted to become a president. What does this show you? It meant that there was hope. Some others wanted to be doctors or presidents of huge companies. However, these days, people talk about unemployment for the youth and even unemployment for the elderly. We are living in a world where our future is becoming more and more dark. However, this is no one's fault. This is just the reality of our world. The important thing is how to respond to this kind of world. Just because there's a big wave coming towards you, that doesn't mean you should just blame the wave. You need to be able to ride that wave and enjoy yourself. We are now at a point in this age where the information intelligence society is coming to full maturity. Before this, we lived in the agricultural age. After that was the industrial age. Korea is one of the few countries that took the industrial age to its advantage. Now we are living in the information intelligence age. And we are almost at a point of full saturation. All of you have information and intelligence at the tip of your fingers. You don't have much need of it for it to be in your head anymore. It's all at your fingertips now. In the agricultural age, the strong could dominate the weak. Uh, in the industrial age, a smarter person could dominate a dumber person. In the information intelligence age, it's not really about knowing a lot. It's about the speed of information. What do you need to be quick at? You need to have quick fingers, right? Even if you have a lot of knowledge, you cannot catch up with someone who has fast fingers. This is why I always lose to my wife. She has very quick fingers. While I am boasting about my knowledge to other people, my wife's fingers usually start already moving. She says, that's not what the smartphone says, and then I usually can't say anything to that. I then say, let me see, oh wow, you're right. That is why the amount of information in your head is really not that important. After the information intelligence society, do you know what kind of society is going to appear? The society of dreams will come. The society of dreams will come. This is what the experts are saying. I'm sure some of you have already heard about this. A dream society will emerge. Your talent will be determined by how well you can dream. When you are farming, you need strength, right? In the industrial society, you needed skills and knowledge. And in the information intelligence society, you need fast fingers. Someone who is able to search through media quickly is going to win. They are all the winners. However, in the dream society, those with the capacity to dream will become the winners. You will have to use your dreams to make yourself successful. That's how you will achieve success. This is also called vision. Where must your future come from? Where must the future of your life come from? It must come from your minds. People who keep getting frustrated at their own situation and can only see the negative things in life, what should those people do? They need to practice to look at things more positively. People who are not clear with their futures, they need to practice to specifically draw their future in their minds. Then, they need to bring that future into their current lives. Many experts have already predicted what the world is going to look like in the future. All of you know that we will become an aging society. What about jobs? Many predict jobs will only decrease. What then will you do with your future? It's already difficult enough in today's world. What about 10 to 20 years from now? Our children will have to live 30 to 60 years more. And what about their children? There will no longer be people sitting in offices all day anymore. Computers are going to be doing all that work. What happened after raising the minimum wage a little? Since the minimum wage increased, companies are not hiring part-time employees anymore. 
They're trying to automate systems now to decrease costs. This shows us that we are at a critical point. We live in a world where if the minimum wage rises, everything then becomes automated. Why is that? That's because it becomes cheaper. Is this a moral issue or is this just the natural trend? It's just the trend of the world. You shouldn't say that this is wrong. Everyone needs to keep up with the trend. If a machine is cheaper than using humans, then from a management's perspective, you have to use machines. You can't avoid this. Then you have to think what to do with the talent that will be put off due to this decision. You also need to think about what you will do to survive. In 10 to 20 years from now, today's jobs are no longer going to exist. Most people, however, do not live in the present. They tend to live in the past. Someone made money a few years ago. Someone did this in the past. You shouldn't be talking about property that rose decades ago. This property used to be full of apple orchards. That land over there used to be filled with pear trees. But today there are 30 to 40 story buildings in those properties. What's the use in reminiscing about the past? There's no use in doing that. There are many people who are still living in the past, trying to bring their past into their present lives. There is no solution in that kind of thinking. If you want to succeed, you can't live in the past. Instead, you need to try to predict the future and bring that to the present. That is how you dream. You need to dream what this world is going to become in the future. You need to be able to look into the future and predict what kind of jobs are going to be successful. Then you need to take that and bring it to the present. We release a motto every year composed of Chinese characters. For this year, it was honesty and goodness is the best policy. We emphasized being honest and being kind to others. I would like to believe that all of you are honest and kind now. For the next year, it will be transcend the dimension. You need to transcend the dimension you live in. Life will be difficult if you just stay in your current dimension. What is the first dimension? A line is in the first dimension. How then do you make a line? If you connect two dots, it becomes a line, right? When two dots are connected by multiple dots, you get a line. So this is the first dimension. What about the second dimension? If you connect different lines, like this, it then becomes a plane. This is the second dimension. What about the third dimension? If you connect different planes, you get the third dimension. You are then in a space continuum. We actually live in the third dimension. What then must you do in order to transcend the dimension that you live in? You need to jump to the fourth dimension. There is actually a wall that you must overcome to enter the fourth dimension. People call this an impenetrable wall. However, we must overcome this wall. If someone calls someone as living in the fourth dimension, that means that person is out of touch with reality. You also need to live this way. You need to become a person that lives in a totally different world. This is how you transcend the dimension. You actually need to pretend you're living in the future. You need to be out of touch with reality. That is because it is very difficult to live in competition with others. However, if you just change your playing field, life and work become quite easy. Let me show you. Try taking this dot out of this circle. Let's say this is drawn on a plane. How do you take the dot out? There's no way. 
In the second dimension, this is impossible. However, if we transcend this into the third dimension, you can lift it and take it out of the circle. This idea is very simple, right? If you approach it from a different dimension, it becomes easy. But something needs to be added in the fourth dimension. You need to add the factor of time. So time added to the third dimension becomes the fourth dimension. What then is the fifth dimension? Let me explain to you. Yeah. In this dimension, there is no space, nor time. The fifth dimension is, in fact, eternity. This fifth dimension, the world of eternity, is not something that we can just make. It is a world that is approaching us, and we participate in it. However, the fourth dimension is something that we can achieve. We have space since we live in the third dimension. And we have the capability to add the factor of time. That way, we can go to the future. We can also go to the past. In your mind, think about the soccer field from school. Don't say, I didn't even go to school. Then think about any soccer field. You can go back in time in your mind to that field, right? As we can go to the past in our minds, we can also go to the future. We need to go to the future by predicting in our minds what kind of future this world will become. Then, you need to plan what kind of life it is that you want to live when that world does come. You need to be waiting for that world to come. You need to prepare what you will do for that world. This is how you plan. Then, take that plan of yours in your head and bring it to your present life. That is how you live your future in the present. Other people might see you as someone who is out of touch with reality. That person is weird. But you need to be someone that is out of this world. The future we will live in will be a dream society. You need to analyze specifically what this dream society in the future is going to look like. And according to that, you need to plan your future. And not just any kind of future, but a future that you want to live in. Then you take that and bring it to your present life. You need to live in the future, not in the present. That means that you should always be talking about the future. Your expressions need to reflect the future. That is why if you want to live a successful life, you must live in the future. Unfortunately, many people still live in the past. I have not seen many people who live in the past to have lived successful lives. You know, I used to be a big shot. Some people say such things while they're boasting. There are people who only talk about their past. How do these people usually end up? Such people are quite frustrating, right? Most of them are. All of you here must stop living in your pasts. Actually, go ahead and stop living in the present. It is very difficult to change the present by only talking about your present life. My current husband doesn't change. If you say that all the time, you should dream about your future where you make $30,000, $50,000, or $70,000 a month. Honey, what kind of car did you want? Men love cars. Oh, you wanted a Mercedes. Okay, just wait a little longer. Yeah. Take that car in the future and bring it here to your present. That's how you'll be able to change your husband. If you keep scolding your husband for his temper, do you think that's going to change him? No, it's not going to change him at all. You should say this to him, honey, I'm doing atomy now. And when I make $50,000 a month, you don't have to work anymore. Honey, you've worked so hard until now trying to feed us, so don't worry. I'll do all the work from now on. You like fishing, right? 
go fishing all day. Go live with the fish. Yeah? But don't, don't fall into the water. It's frustrating trying to fish in the river all the time, right? I'll just buy you a yacht. How's that sound? Hmm? Take your future in your mind and live it out in the present. You need to talk like you're from the future. Do you have a yacht right now or not? You don't even have money to buy a reel. But you must tell your husband that you will make it happen for him in the future. Honey, I told you I would buy you a yacht. If not, you could at least buy him a rowing boat. Yeah? We don't have huge lakes in Korea, right? Just buy him a rowing boat then. You will be able to succeed in atomy by living in the fourth dimension. In order to solve today's problems, there's only one solution for that. You have to go to your future. Take that future and live it out in the present. Your vision is very important. You need to create your own vision. When you come to Success Academy, you will learn how to design your future. It will help you for two days. You will be able to learn about the laws of success. The people that will come after you will be very rich people. We've established a sound base for the Korean market now. And we are at a point where we have started to expand worldwide. You might say, I can't speak Chinese, nor Japanese. I can't even speak English. What does this world have to do with me? If you think of this from the future's perspective, you might be able to meet a Chinese Korean, even if you can't speak other languages. And the son of one of your partners might go to the US to study overseas. You need to be able to imagine the fact that the members will spread to all over the world and this will determine whether you'll be successful or not. People who are only able to see what's right in front of them and can't see what is unseen, these people have a low success rate. However, are these imaginations possible or not? If you think about it just a little bit, you'll be able to imagine the members under you spreading to China or even to South America. You can say, there is hope, let's try this. Daily necessity products will always be in demand. Everyone will buy the products if they're good and affordable. If you start saying such things with your mouth, if you talk about the future, that is how you do this business. The core of the business lies in all of you telling others, I'm going to make $50,000. You will bring the future to your present lives. However, if you make such statements, but your everyday life doesn't reflect such claims, it won't work. In order to create such a big organization, the products need to be that of daily necessity, products that everyone must use. And if the quality is good and affordable, everyone will use them. You will be able to conclude that people will have to use such products. In Atomy, we have a ceiling for the members' commissions. So what does this imply? This means that there is no difference between someone just starting and someone who is an imperial master. Everyone will meet at the top. In order for everybody to meet at the top, there must be a limit drawn as the ceiling. It has been 10 years since Atomy has started. There are people who have reached the top already. Currently, there are four imperial masters. Even if you've just started now, this means everyone will meet at the top as an imperial master. Everybody will meet at the top. That is why you can truly say, see you at the top. This is a network marketing company where this sort of thing is possible. Atomy is a company that adheres to its principles and values, and it takes its future vision and lives it in the present. I hope you will listen intently to the remaining lectures today. That is the end of my lecture.